All right, folks. Um, this video is a lot of video game related stuff that I picked up at a place called Buckboard 2. B U C K B O A R D T O O exclamation points in downtown Gatlinburg. And it's a nostalgia store that has stuff from all, you know, all, all eras. Well, I got a lot of stuff, so we're going to go into what I picked up. Some of it's Harry Potter stuff, but a lot of it's video game stuff. And first up, we have Ghostbusters Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. So I have him. Um, I mean, this is not going to be in any, any sort of order. This here is a Game Boy Money Box. And it's got smushed. The case got smushed. But it's like a piggy bank. Okay. And uh, there you go. And it looks like when you put coins in the thing, this screen changes. When you move it left and right, as you can see, you might be able to see. Yeah. So, you got the money box. Next up, we have NES coasters. Eight different game coasters. So you have that. Let me do that. And he has coasters here. Price sticker right on the back. So do I need these? No, but I'm going to keep them sealed and decorate the, the walls with this stuff. Next up, we have Super Mario Lenticular Pin Badges. Pins in uh, a different foreign country here. So this is pretty cool. It looks like you got Mushroom or Toad. Yoshi, Luigi, Princess Peach's crown, Mario and Donkey Kong. So we got those. Then we picked up a PlayStation mug, or excuse me, a PlayStation mini light, and it plays official PlayStation sounds. Remove isolation tab from base and push down. Well, I don't know where the hell the isolation thing is. Remove it from the base and push down. Maybe is it under this price sticker here? Uh, I'm not going to fool around. Well, I don't know. How, it, how does it plug in? Batteries. Oh, battery supplied for demonstration only. Whatever. So, anyway. Uh, I don't want to really open Well, if I could open this up, let's see. I don't want to ruin the... Um, there's a sticker here. Yeah, I don't want to ruin the box. So, anyway, we got this. PlayStation Lite, Mini Lite. All right, next up, we have a package of Super Nintendo coasters. We got The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Super Mario World, and then it looks like there's Super Mario Kart and Super Metroid in the back behind these. So we grab those. And next up we have metal coasters from PlayStation. Got a lot of coasters as you see. Alright, now we're getting some Harry Potter stuff I believe. These are empty boxes. Um, excuse me, not empty boxes. These are mugs in, in boxes that you can't see what they are. Um, but, oh, this is a Ghostbuster mug. So, there you go, there's Ghostbusters. Who you're gonna call it says C. So we'll throw that to the side. I'm gonna run out of space with all the shit I got here. Alright, next up we got Harry Potter mugs, ceramic mugs. Um, this one doesn't say which one it is. Oh, and this got crushed. Super. So that's even worse. The box got crushed. I may just take them out of the boxes. Yeah. So this one here we have is we have Gryffindor and obviously I have all all four of these because why not yeah see they're all the boxes are all crushed so we got Hufflepuff next take out and show you Hufflepuff Hufflepuff there's Hufflepuff all right Next up, we have. I'm gonna guess Slytherin if I. Yep, what a guess I. Great guess by me. All right, so we got Slytherin. Okay. 
And then, this is set completely separate. This, oh no it's not, this is Ravenclaw, it's just in a different box, which is weird. It's in a blue box versus the other white ones, so. Anyway, here's Ravenclaw. So those are the four Harry Potter mugs. Alright, so, I don't know where I'm going to put those, just in front for now. Now, we have uh, mugs of the, those are ceramic mugs, these are like coffee mugs. These are pretty cool looking. There's Ravenclaw. Now, I bought a lot of stuff. She gave me a discount. So if you guys are ever in the area, uh, I'm trying to remember her name. This one is Slytherin. Okay. What is her name? I have my phone here somewhere. Forget her name, but she was great. She did a great. Uh, she treated me great when I was there. Her parents own the shop. Hufflepuff in black. Just, I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff. Like, yeah, you'd say this goes in the kitchen. Well, technically, all the Harry Potter stuff will go in my library because that's where all the books are and all the other stuff I have of Harry Potter when I went to Universal Studios and everything else. It was a cool deal. I'd like to go back to Universal Studios but not be in a rush because I was in a rush when I was there. I didn't have a lot of time and I was with people. I'd want to do my own adventuring. Ah, oh, I just ripped my fucking finger off here. And then lastly, but not uh, leastly, Gryffindor. So, pretty cool colors of the mugs, I think. Alright, is that it for bag one? That's it for bag one. So you know what I'll do? I'm going to throw everything Harry Potter-wise into bag one, and that way I can put this right in the library, is what I'm saying. So, I'm going to throw these in very gently, so they don't break, because I'll be pissed. Yep, you can already hear the clanging of the glasses, see? Alright, I'm going to throw you right over here. Hopefully you don't fall. Next up, I'm going to go to the second bag with the most in it. We have some pop figurines. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of these, but I'm going to collect them because it's Crash Bandicoot stuff. So we have Coco Bandicoot vinyl figure. You can collect all of them. Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot with Jetpack, Crash Bandicoot Biker Outfit, Dr. Neo Cortex, Coco Bandicoot, Aku Aku, and Crash Bandicoot with Scuba Gear. So I have the Coco Bandicoot pop. I have the Rita Repulsa from Power Rangers pop. It was like buy six, get one free, so I just picked one. That was the free one. Aku Aku, obviously, we need, we need him. And then we have Goldar from Power Rangers. There you go. We have Crash Bandicoot with Scuba Gear. Okay. And then these are Sonic's, Sonic ones. So we got Dr. Eggman. And you can collect Sonic with Ring, Sonic with Emerald, Shadow, Dr. Eggman, Super Sonic, and Shadow with K.O. Or Chow, or whatever you want to call it. K.O. Chaos Ring. And that's it. That's bag two, and then here we have Shadow. So, those are the pops. I'm going to figure out where exactly I'm going to put these, Sonic, because I'm running out of room with the Sonic wall, if you will, the second bookshelf I have with all my Mario slash Donkey Kong slash Spyro slash uh, Kirby slash all that stuff. I'm running out of space, so I don't know exactly where I'm going to put all that. Okay. And then lastly, the third bag, I'll throw this over here, the third bag of stuff has some posters, but also has some heavy stuff, so let's see what we got. Oh boy, okay, so, got three posters, one, this is a Labyrinth movie poster, I'm a huge fan of that movie, so that'll probably go up in my room, maybe, or in the living room. Okay, that's what it will look like. Labyrinth. Okay. So we got that. 
Next poster is a Ghostbuster movie poster, and this will probably also go up in my room or the living room, but this is what the poster will look like. Who are you going to call? Okay. And then we have a video game poster, the last poster, and it's like the history of, or all the bad guys in Mario. The history of bad guys in Mario, if you want to call it that. So where's the... It doesn't have a thing. What do you know? So anyway, you can see some some of the stuff. You got a Koopa Troopa, you got Magi Hoopa, Dry Bones, Hammer Bro, and you can see the outlines of what they'll look like. Spiny, Buzzy Beetle. So anyway, those are three posters I grabbed. And then this is a clock. I, no, it's not. This is a, a little like picture. Oh, and, it's, and it broke. Oh, it's damaged to hell. That's what a shame. You take it out of its... Yeah, you can see. So this is pretty cool. This is lenticular in design. You have the Super Mario. Okay, so it's a pretty cool deal. Um, but on the back, as you see, this got damaged. But hopefully I can... Um, hang this somewhere, I don't know exactly where, but this is a, a piece I don't want broken, so let me throw that over here. And then the last thing I have in the bag that we have yet to go over is Harry Potter related. And let's see what we got here. Oh, isn't that funny? It's a set of glassware same as the mugs and the coffee mugs, we have a Harry Potter set of glasses, which I probably won't open. I'll leave it sealed and throw that in the library. So, there you go. You got Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. So, Hufflepuff to me was like, a, is like, it was like, you know, just a, a waste of, a waste of a, I mean, it was just there. It had to be there because there had to be four, you know. Slytherin was evil, Gryffindor was Harry Potter, uh, Ravenclaw, I think, wasn't somebody from, Ra I don't know about Ravenclaw, I think it's the same concept, though, that those two are just, you know, I think Ravenclaw was more pertinent than Hufflepuff was, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, that is the, um, that is the pickup video today, thanks for watching. I have some GameStop stuff coming out. I think Super Mario Maker comes out tomorrow. And I got some other stuff coming out. I'm in the process of trying to get through Mortal Kombat 11. It is, it is tedious as hell. Um, because the key to the crypt and unlocking the crypt is you got to collect all these coins in different currency. Well, you literally got to plow through the game a zillion times to be able to earn enough coins to even have a shot at doing so. And the worst part is, look, I don't mind microtransactions. I'm not a fan of them, but they're not the end of the world. This is one of those games where I would just want the ability to purchase coins so I can just get through the crypt. You know what I mean? Like, to punish players for having to play the game for a million hours. And I'm talking a million hours to be able to earn enough currency to be able to get the stuff that's in the crypt. There's no need for it. Like, there's none. Like, you can only... Okay. You beat the game with all the characters. You can only do that once. There's no point do, doing it again. And then you have the moving towers. So, okay, I've gotten through two of them. I haven't played any of the others, but I'm sure there's a lot of coins to be made there. But after that, what else is there? So correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below on that. Um, and I'm going to... Listen, I'm going to throw out a, uh, a prize for anyone here. Um who's watched this throughout through this whole video if you can somehow look at my AC Odyssey glitch video the one that I recently posted where I'm stuck in that with the four stone pillars I will throw PayPal people money if there's a way that you can help me figure out how to get through there because there's a video on YouTube right now and I've, I've contacted the guy who made it and he's telling me what to go do but my game won't allow me to so if I'm doing something wrong please immediately tell me and if you're the first person to do so you will win prizes uh, I also have reached out to, like I said, the guy who made the video, so if he gets in touch with me first, he'll win. But if he doesn't, and one of you do, 
all the power to you, and I will thank you because I have to collect that last piece of crap uh, loot ball, loot uh, chest from that last part of the second part of the DLC. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon with more video game related stuff, and I got a whole bunch of shit to put away.